Hi there, I'm John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm going to discuss the potential use of plagiarism checking software in publishing. I'm going to be addressing its use by publishers, associations, or organizations as opposed to its use by individuals. Publishers and associations have a vested interest in ensuring that the journal articles, book chapters, and other scholarly material they publish is original and free of plagiarism. While one would hope that this should not be an issue, experience says otherwise. There is little question if an organization should be incorporating this step into the publishing process. It is only the details and the particular software that matters. A point to start with is that many groups use the term similarity instead of plagiarism, the latter coming with a judgment in place. Similarity check or similarity review may be more appropriate terminology than plagiarism check or plagiarism review. If you're an association whose journal is being published with a publisher, first check that this step is not already taking place on their end, perhaps unbeknownst to you. Larger publishers have embraced this step and may routinely be running manuscripts through their chosen software. Also, it may be incorporated into a manuscript tracking, tracking system or it may be soon. Another point to consider is whether all manuscripts will be reviewed prior to or at peer review or whether this step will take place only after manuscript acceptance. There are valid points for either option. Most systems produce a report that lists the percentage of a document that matches other content and where that content comes from. Think through which staff member will run the manuscript through the system that you use. For those manuscripts that have a high similarity, who will then make the more nuanced and educated decision if there is a cause for concern? Many times it is subjective. Then consider the stance you might take with an author and what that correspondence might look like. It can be a very touchy email or call that will likely vary greatly by the particular circumstance. As for software, there are many types out there. Some are free and low cost, and many are geared towards the individual. Before you invest your time with any software, ask the developers or owners how many publishers or association are currently using their product. If they can't provide that information or references, you should shy away from them. Remember, free is not always better. For those that provide a product to the publishing market, it's a very small list. Authenticate has a significant presence. Authenticate states that it has checked over 50 million documents for plagiarism. They also say that 80% of high impact factor journals have access to Authenticate. See their website for more information about how their service works, including helpful videos. Crossref, the not-for-profit, well-respected reference linking group, created a product called CrossCheck. CrossCheck has since been rebranded as Similarity Check. Similarity check might be considered a separate option to authenticate. However, cross a similarity check is powered by authenticate. Similarity check states that members benefit from a tailored service that includes read-only access to the full text of articles in the similarity check database for comparison purposes only. FYI, the similarity check service is only available to members of Crossref who are depositing DOIs with them. There is other software to consider. One site lists other commercial options as Attributor, Copyscape, CopyLeaks, PlagueScan, and I'm sure others that I've missed that work with publishers and the like. Let me know about any who you have worked with and how you like them and anything else that is connected. The key points to consider are the cost of the software, if it is geared towards the institutional publishing market, what it compares a manuscript to, such as published works with a DOI or the like, impact on staff time to run the check, and who would contact the authors about any questions on originality. Well, that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or see the link below for a playlist of videos on using plagiarism software. And make comments below or email me with any questions. Thanks so much and take care.